have a very interesting stitch to show you and Anna and I were trying to come up with a name and we the wrap around or the pickup stitch so anyway Anna called it the twisted stitch and that's the way we're going to call it so this is any number of stitches that you want to use and very nice it comes out very thick so it's nice like for uh, a rug or a handbag or a table runner or a placemat things like that so this is I'm knitting this is a thick number four yarn and I'm using ten and a half knitting needles but I'll show you with another yarn so you can see the difference so the first row or the base row I cast it on my stitches and I purled the base row because you need to have that row to hold on to for the stitch so once you purl that base row make believe that I cast it on my stitches now and you start with pass one as if to purl with your yarn in the back and then you're going to go on the row below let me open this a little so you can see so you go on the row below and you knit it and then that stitch you pass as if to purl so you go on the row below knit it and pass that one as if to purl row on the row go on the row below knit it pull pull as far as it will go and then pass that one as if to pull go on the row below knit it and pass as if to pull go on the row below and knit it pull pass that one as if to pull row below knit it and pass as if to purl on the row below knit it pull pass as if to purl go on the row below knit it pull pass that one as if to purl Go on the row below, knit it, pull, pass that one as if to purl, row below, pull, pass as if to purl, go on the row below, pull, pass as if to purl, go on the row below, pull, pass as if to purl, Go on the row below, pull, pass as if to purl. Go on the row below and pull, pass as if to purl. And the last stitch, unit. Okay, on the way back, I'm going to pass the first one as if to purl with the yarn in front because I'm going to be purling the whole row so purl and then purl two together and purl two together purl two stitches together purl two together and you can see them because they're like pairs so purl the whole row and I will see you at the end because the last stitch you purl. Okay, I'm at the end of the row. Purl the two together and then the last one I purl and I repeat those two rows. See how pretty that looks. So I'm going to do it with another color because this is variegated and this is the way it looks this is a thinner number four yarn a thinner 
worsted yarn and I'm using size 9 knitting needle so you can see how this is a little bit tighter but it's very pretty also so on this one I knitted the first one and the last stitch so oops, let me get this straight so let's do that I am going to knit the first one and then I'm going to go and knit from the row below and pick up and from the row below and pick up knit from the row below Oops. and pick up and I do that the whole row but the last stitch I also knit so pick up a row below and pick up so it's the same thing but see how different it looks so the only difference between the other one and this one is the the size of the needles and that I'm knitting the first and the last stitch on the right side and I'm purling the first and the last stitch on the way back okay so let's do this on the way back I purl one and then I purl two together and purl two together and do that all the way to the end of the row and the last stitch you purl and that's it this is a very very pretty stitch so thank you so much for watching and share us with your friends. Please like our page and subscribe. We have lots of fun stitches and projects. Thank you.